So diabetes is a real drag. Uh, there's amputations, kidney failure, blindness, numbness, and searing pain in your feet. Yeah, stuff like that. So we want to do everything we can to keep it to a minimum. People who work nights are at increased risk. This is Dr. Scott Looper with the Alaska Center for Natural Medicine here in Fairbanks, Alaska. And there's something that could be done to keep your risk low for diabetes if you have to work nights. Now, number one, let's recognize the reason why this is a problem. It's because of stress. Mental, emotional, physical, time stress all cause your body to release sugar in your bloodstream. It's a normal stress response, and that increased sugar increases your chance of getting diabetes. So the thing to do is to stay chill, to do everything you can to keep your schedule regular, calm, and peaceful, so you can sleep better, and that'll keep your risk of diabetes lower. So there's things that you can do to help with the sleep part, especially if your time, your internal clock is off, if you're only doing occasional shift work, and the best thing to do that is melatonin. Now, melatonin is not a good sleep aid, generally, but it's great if you're trying to reset your internal clock. It's excellent. So melatonin will help you sleep better. The next thing that's even more important than that is exercise. Exercise helps burn up all those stress chemicals. It helps keep your blood sugars down low. So regular exercise is the best thing you can do to keep your risk of diabetes low if you have to do shift work. And the last thing is to eat well. Duh, we already know this. If you've got a lot of carbohydrates and junk food, your blood sugars are gonna tend to run high anyway. So lots of vegetables, protein in your diet regularly, things like this, common sense. These things will help minimize your risk of diabetes and keep you healthy and happy. This is Dr. Scott Looper with today's health tip uh, here at the Alaska Center for Natural Medicine.